Many dogs exist as man's best friend, some for brutal exercises and events, some for the purpose of a guardian, and many other reasons. But there are some species that can pass off a great companion and as well a really great bodyguard. Especially when there's trouble in paradise, you can always count on these loyal canines. From the gentle giants of the canine world to the overly protective St. Bernard, here are 20 dogs that are nightmares to wild animals. Number 20. Doggo Argentino the Doggo Argentino, or otherwise known as Argentine Doggo, is a large dog, roughly 24 to 26 inches tall and weighing 80 to 100 pounds, with males typically a little larger than females. These dogs have large, well-developed heads with impressive musculature, bred to hunt and take down dangerous prey, including pumas and wild cats in their native Argentine. The Argentinian Mastiff is an impressive breed and an explicit example of dog most wild animals would not want to mess with. They were developed in Argentina for the sole purpose of big game hunting, something they did quite well in. Unfortunately, their popularity as fighting dogs and aggressive lines has led them to being banned in many countries. While that doesn't mean you shouldn't get a doggo Argentino, it may make you think twice. The dog can be friendly, but it can also be scary. The doggo Argentino has a short and completely white coat, which makes them very easy to identify. They were bred in 1928 by a certain Dr. Antonio Norris Martinez, a doctor who had a significant passion for dogs. He crossbred several different purebred dogs with a fighting dog from his home region of Argentina, Cordoba, thus giving life to this dog breed that can grow up to 100 pounds. They can make for excellent game hunters, police guards, home guard dogs, or even used as excellent guide dogs for the blind. And although they may have had cases of aggression noted towards their humans, these dogs are typically good with their families. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. German Shepherds The German Shepherds are a very intelligent breed of dogs. It's very clear why this breed is often preferred by law enforcement, security agents, and other organizations where strength and power are key. Considered as the second most popular purebred dog in the United States, these canines, which obviously originated in Germany, are celebrated for their brains, beauty, and courage. They can weigh up to 90 pounds and are best for owners who are really active and are able to give them the exercise they really need. They were originally trained as herd breeding dogs, and whether or not on command, they will pose a threat to any wild animal that tends to trespass. German Shepherd dogs are active and like to have something to do. They need schedules that include ample exercise daily, otherwise they can get into mischief or become easily upset, which may not be a good idea if they're left alone in an apartment or home setting. And that should be a very stern warning to first-time dog owners, as these dogs can get dangerous, especially to intruders, and they happen to have the most recorded bite accidents of all dog breeds. Recently, this breed makes for an excellent guard dog, police dog, military, guide dog for the blind, and also as a search and rescue dog. And for many families, the German Shepherd is also a treasured family pet. Number 18. Siberian Huskies Siberian Huskies are known for their bravery and ability to cover huge distances in harsh weather conditions. This wonderful breed of dogs is medium-sized, and their weight range is between 50 and 65 pounds. But despite being a medium-sized dog, this breed can easily match the energy levels of larger dogs. They have indeed captured the attention of the masses, as well as artists, writers, and film producers with their eye-catching looks and awe-inspiring talents. This medium-sized working dog possesses power and athleticism. The Siberian Husky is an old breed that was first developed as sled dogs. They eventually became popular in 1925 when musher Leonard Sapala led a group of them 658 miles in only five and a half days to deliver a life-saving serum to Nome, Alaska to treat a diphtheria epidemic. More importantly, the lead dog, Balto, remains one of the most honored dogs in history. While people buy them for their looks, these dogs have no temperament issues and may not be the best guard dogs. But if you're looking to chase little rodents and critters, they might just be the best choice for you. They are also extremely difficult to train, so first-time dog owners or timid people should consider other breeds. Let's go for a walk. Come on. 
The Huskies, however, are not the kind of dogs you would want to leave alone at home. They are the kind of dogs that like to be kept busy because one thing you must know is that the Huskies have the tendency to try to escape. They sure put the H in Houdini. Having a reputation for being escape artists, they still wander away from home whenever they get a chance. Sadly, far too many have become lost or injured as a result. It's vital for Siberian Husky owners to constantly check their yards for any means of escape and to surround their yard with fence sunk into the ground. Number 17. Rottweilers Having been bred for centuries as working dogs, Rottweilers served as herd and livestock guides since the ancient Roman Empire. Though many still herds, they are now mostly being used as police and guard dogs since most intruders wouldn't dare mess with such a powerful and tough-looking canine. They also happen to be the third most registered breed in the US. They are dogs that can have medium to long fur. A somewhat intimidating look and bark are also beneficial to a guard dog. And Roddy's heavy, skeletal frame and stout nose do give it an intimidating look, which is further supported by its sleek coloring. The Rottweiler is a confident and brave breed. They definitely will investigate anything that they believe could pose a threat to themselves and their family. And if there is any trouble and the dog needs to react, it will do so quickly and fearlessly. Though it can be hard to picture them being playful, when you're in Roddy's inner circle, you may get to see that side of them. Just make sure to begin training them early as they respond best to confident and experienced owners. Number 16. Alaskan Malamute Though similar to their slightly smaller friend, the Siberian Husky, the Alaskan Malamute has an even stronger and more muscular body, which makes sense considering they are once used to hunting and carrying freight through deep snow by Inuit tribes of western Alaska. The part where they were once used as hunting dogs should be enough reason why you shouldn't dare to trespass in a house with one of these daring breeds. Owners of Alaskan Malamutes can testify just how challenging it is to train the breed. Malamutes would much rather do as they please than listen to us, and getting them to follow the simplest commands can sometimes be a chore. This means that it can be very dangerous to train an Alaskan Malamute to be a guard dog. A Malamute's obedience could falter at any time, meaning it would be very difficult to change their mind if they decided something was a threat. Thankfully, Malamutes are not a naturally aggressive breed. We don't recommend trying to make them aggressive enough to be a guard dog as it could easily lead to them attacking someone or something that was safe all along. So, Alaskan Malamutes are not good guard dogs, but their intimidating appearances can scare away intruders even if they would never attack them. Malamutes can be trained to be watchdogs for extra security, but just be mindful of your neighbors as it can be a noisy training session. Number 15. Great Danes the Great Danes, popularly known as the gentle giants of the canine world, were originally used for hunting animals like boar, deer, and bear. Fortunately, these dogs are now content to hang out with their family and lounge around on the sofa. That doesn't mean they aren't still strong, though. This breed is all muscle and weighs in at a maximum of 175 pounds. Yes, it can be hard, if not impossible, to ignore a dog that size. Great Danes are big, so they can scare off strangers and possibly wild animals or basically anything that turns out to be a threat. But despite the Great Danes' large size, this dog's breed is surprisingly friendly. They can be very patient and calm, and they're great for families with children and other pets. Of course, you don't want a guard dog to be too calm or patient. But even with their calm temperament, Great Danes can be aggressive when necessary. They are definitely one of the best dog breeds you can choose if you want a protective pet. However, protective dogs aren't necessarily the same thing as guard dogs. Number 14. Doberman Pinschers When you hear the word guard dog, what words come to mind? It's definitely words like bold, fierce, strong, loyal, alert, and intelligent. You may not realize it, but you'd be perfectly describing a Doberman. In fact, a lot of people associate the Doberman breed with guard dogs and for good reasons. They were intentionally bred to possess all these traits and more. Originally bred from Germany, the powerful Doberman has long been considered the ideal guard dog, and they're often used in law enforcement. These dogs are super fast and powerful, and they have an elegance that has earned them respect in the canine kingdom. 
A typical male Doberman stands at about 26 to 28 inches high and has an average weight of approximately 70 to 100 pounds, with the male Dobermans weighing in at around 88 to 99 pounds, and the females 71 to 77 pounds. But don't underestimate these canines just because they're beautiful. Their tough nature sets them apart as one of the strongest dog breeds in the world. If you're looking for a loyal dog to help you feel secure in your home, then a Doberman may be the best canine for you. Number 13. Newfoundland. It's amazing that Newfoundlands are such masterful long-distance swimmers considering their big-boned, muscular build, though I'm sure their partially webbed feet come in handy. Good-natured and friendly, this breed is devoted to their family, especially kids. Newfoundland is a large, heavy-coated dog, with the male being 28 inches tall and weighing from 130 to 150 pounds. The female is slightly smaller at 26 inches tall and 100 to 120 pounds. Despite the size of Newfoundland, this dog is rather docile and can happily adjust to living in the house. They do, however, need a considerable yard space for exercise and ideally should have safe access to water. The breed is totally watchful, trustworthy, and tolerant of the behavior of children. You might be surprised to know that even the author J.M. Bari based the Nana in Peter Pan on his own Newfoundland. These dogs are protective and known to put themselves physically between their family and any stranger. They are not barkers but will show themselves to be watchful and willing to protect. Such an intelligent breed has been claimed to often alert owners of fire in the home as well as rescue them from their own swimming pools. One reason you should hurry up and adopt one for yourself. They're, without a doubt, the kind of family member you'd be lucky to have. Just make sure to give them plenty of exercise, attention, and affection because, you know, they actually deserve it. Number 12. Cane Corso with a lineage that goes back to ancient Roman times, this giant dog breed is known for its excellence as a guardian. They are a mastiff breed that has been of great use to people as companion dogs. They were formerly used in herding livestock and as well as hunting huge games. Another thing to note about this powerful breed is that they possess a very strong prey drive which is beneficial when it comes to chasing off wild animals. <coughs> Coming in contact with one for the very first time can tell you just why they make a perfect guard dog. Always alert and confident, cane corsos are very loyal to their human friends, and the fact that they weigh over 100 pounds and have lots of muscles makes them intimidating to any would-be intruders. The cane corso is definitely not ideal for first-time dog owners as it requires strong, consistent training and in-depth socialization. These dogs are strong, powerful, intelligent, and of course, large. Cane corsos make excellent protection in guard dogs, but they need to be trained and properly socialized to fill that hole. And because of their instinctual drive to protect, cane corsos could hurt unassuming strangers in their attempts to protect. But with strong leadership, they do make great home defenders. Number 11. American Pitbull Terrier Pitbulls are the breed of dogs that are known for their muscular body, endurance, and for their high energy levels. It is interesting to note that pit bulls were originally bred as bull bait dogs and as hunting dogs. Slowly over the years, these breeds evolved into being farm dogs, companion dogs, and in very rare cases, guard dogs. Owing to these impressive physical characteristics and legacy of being a working class dog, the question now is, are pit bulls regarded as good guard dogs? Pit bulls, contrary to their muscular physique and impressive energy levels and endurance, are certainly not good guard dogs, though they do look really intimidating and can just easily scare off any threat with a bark. But despite their intimidating look, they are playful and fun-loving dogs who would go to any extent to get praised by humans irrespective of who they are. You must know that when you bring a pit bull home, that you have bought yourself a friend for a lifetime. Though they suck at being a guard dog, they can be excellent stress busters. As mentioned, pit bulls are loyal pets who wouldn't mind walking the extra mile to make their caregivers happy. Number 10. Bulldog. The Bulldog, sometimes called the English Bulldog or the British Bulldog, originated in England and has quite a bloody past. It descended from fighting mastiffs that were brought to the British Isles by the Romans and was used in a bloody sport called bull baiting. In the 1970s, the dog blood sports began to get more attention from law enforcement and, therefore, the media, thus making the public much more aware of these cruel practices. The whole thing led people drawing the conclusion that the pit bull type dog's history of involvement in blood sports made them uniquely dangerous. 
Today, however, the bulldog only slightly resembles his ancestors in appearance, and all of the ferociousness that he exhibited in the bull baiting pens, it might just be gone for good. Except, of course, you push the canine's wrong button. And despite the breed's ferocious appearance, you'd be hard-pressed to find a dog with a sweeter, more loving disposition. Bulldogs are one of the most recognizable breeds with their stocky build, striking underbite, floppy lips, and wrinkled faces. They also range in size from 40 to 50 pounds, usually short but hefty. Despite their brusque look, they're incredibly loving towards owners and family members, particularly children. Number 9. Chow Chow the Chow Chow is a medium-sized dog ranging in height from 17 to 20 inches and in weight from 50 pounds to 75 pounds. Chows are known to be tidy, powerful pups with beautiful lion-like manes, blue-black tongues, and of course that funny facial expression. These dogs have a history of guarding work in their native China and need plenty of good training and socialization to help curb their overly protective tendencies, particularly towards strangers. If you look at the dog obedience charts, Chow Chows are almost always at the top of the least obedient list, although they never seem to be able to take the crown from the Afghan hound. Most of them have been reported as having a high prey drive and will never give up on catching any animal they set their eye on. Chow Chows are not usually social, outgoing dogs. They tend to be aloof with strangers and can be aggressive with other dogs. This is due to their history as guards for homes and livestock. But early socialization with other dogs, pets, and people is important to curb overly protective tendencies. Though they may become nuisance barkers if their alarm barking is not controlled. This breed is fairly intelligent, but they have both an independent and stubborn streak, so training them can be a challenge. To do well in a public setting or even in competitions, they require a firm, patient owner who has plenty of creativity. Chow Chows happen to be fiercely protective and need an extra training to control this guarding tendency. Number 8. Belgian Malinois Also known as the Belgian Shepherd, the Malinois is a graceful, powerful working dog that was originally bred for herding. They're active, smart, and require a great deal of exercise, so they're not well suited to life in the city unless given plenty of daily walks and opportunities to play. The Belgian Malinois excels not only in herding but also in protection and law enforcement, drug, bomb, and gas detection search and rescue, tracking, obedience, sledding agility, and therapy assistance. Plots, sets, shti, back, right. To disabled, ill, or elderly people. This breed is demanding and needs an experienced owner. A wide range of them is seen in temperament and aggressiveness. They want nothing more than to be with their family, which makes them unsuitable as kennel dogs. Though this incredible breed may or may not get along with cats. They happen to have a strong prey drive and may chase other cats or small furry animals. That said, some Malinois do get along well with indoor cats, but only if they have been raised together. The Malinois can be aggressive with dogs or other animals they don't know, so I'd suggest early socialization with other dogs should keep them in check. Number 7. Tosa Inu the Tosa dog, commonly referred to as the Tosa Inu, Tosa Ken, or Japanese Mastiff, is a large Mastiff type breed with short fur that was developed in Japan for dog fighting. Today, the activity is still illegal in Japan and the breed continues to be used for this purpose. However, in most other parts of the world, where dog fighting is banned, the Tosa is generally used as a watchdog, guard dog, and companion. Tosas can be quietly affectionate with their human families, but they are usually aloof with strangers. And due to their history of dogfighting, Tosas can also be aggressive towards other dogs, especially those they don't know. This most certainly isn't a breed for first-time owners. Rather, they are best suited for experienced owners who are prepared to commit the time and training that Tosas need to live non-aggressive, happy, and healthy lives. Though Tosa Inus are massive, powerful dogs, their temperament is also calm, quiet, and obedient. They are innately watchful and will alert their owners to anything deemed threatening or out of the ordinary. And even though a Tosa might react aggressively toward a trespasser or a person threatening their home or family, they do not appear as aggressive toward non-threatening humans. But given its naturally aggressive nature, it's crucial that they undergo extensive socialization at a very young age to help them become accepting of welcomed visitors. Number 6. Caucasian Shepherd 
The Caucasian Shepherds are loyal, strong, and courageous. They are popularly known as fierce family protectors. The Caucasian Shepherds were originally bred to care for flocks and defend the home against wild predators in the rough Caucasus Mountains region. They now often use these instincts in modern times to act as watchdogs and protectors. Though they are sometimes overly apprehensive around strangers and don't take well to other animals entering their territory, including other dogs. <laughs> They can also be called Caucasian Mountain Dogs, Russian Bear Dogs, or Caucasian Ovcharka Dogs, and there are many other variants and types. This massive breed is highly territorial and won't back down from a fight, not even against bears or wolves. They are very intelligent but can be pretty stubborn, and their independent nature can make them really difficult to train. Their natural distrust of strangers and other animals can also lead to aggressive tendencies if an experienced trainer doesn't keep them in check. With a bite PSR of 500 to 700 PSI, the Caucasian Shepherd is a force to be reckoned with in the canine world. Number 5. Irish Wolfhound According to the American Kennel Club, this ancient breed of sighthound has also been called the Irish Dog, the Big Dog of Ireland, and the Great Hound of Ireland. But whatever you call them, these wolfhounds are known for their incredible speed and size, some measuring as tall as 3 feet and weighing up to 180 pounds. You can easily guess from the name that the Irish Wolfhound is a wolf hunter. It had reportedly been used to hunt wild boar and deer. There are legends of bands of Scottish people and others from Northern Britain, known as the Fianna, using Irish wolfhounds in massive hunts, where as many as 200 stags would be killed. Despite their impressive strength and power, they tend to make poor guard dogs because they're just too sweet and are very patient with children. Though they might also show aggression towards other animals because of their strong prey drive and can't help but chase and kill animals that run away. You should definitely keep your wolfhound inside when the cat is out and should always keep them behind a fence or at least on a leash. Number 4. Kangle Regarded as some of the best herd-protecting animals in the world, Turkey's giant Kangal breed dogs have been protecting the cattle on farms across the United States for many years. Originating in an isolated region of Turkey, the Kangal is considered one of the oldest livestock guarding dog breeds. Kangals can weigh up to 140 pounds and have a high tolerance for pain. Can't blame them because they've spent generations fighting off dangerous animals, after all. They also happen to be incredibly loyal to the ones they love. You'll just have to make sure you take the time to train and socialize them properly, especially since owning such a large, strong animal is a big responsibility, especially considering their bite force of about 743 PSI, the most powerful of all dog breeds according to World Atlas. Turkey's Kangal dogs have, in fact, begun spreading across the globe and are represented by the Kangal Dog Club of America in the US. They are said to have been in North America since the 1980s, with a population of around 3 million Kangal dogs recorded in the US. Number 3. Rhodesian Ridgeback Don't be too surprised about the Rhodesian Ridgeback's tough nature, seeing as how they used to hunt lions in Africa. This strong, muscular dog was originally bred to guard livestock and homes, something that perfectly complements in ultra-protective instincts. Originally from Rhodesia and Africa, now known as Zimbabwe and Zambia, this breed can be a handful for an inexperienced owner, but will make a nice pet with plenty of training, socialization, and love. With the Rhodesian Ridgeback historically being used as a hunting dog and guardian of homesteads in Africa, the trait of protection is no doubt in their genes. This makes them naturally inclined to protect not only those around them, but the homes in which they live. A good reason to think twice before you enter a home having them as a pet. Although, because of these dogs hunting roots, they tend to have a very high prey drive. That means stray cats and other unlucky furry animals aren't safe in your yard. And it's very essential to know that if left alone without supervision, these dogs can wander off to go hunting on their own. Their physical attributes also make this breed the ideal dog to be used for protection. Standing in at around 25 to 27 inches tall and weighing in at approximately 70 to 85 pounds of pure muscle. Only by just growling and barking do they certainly appear intimidating. It's very important to know that the Rhodesian Ridgebacks are generally very selective about when they bark, and it should certainly be investigated what the cause is when they do. You might be surprised what you'll find. Number 2. Tibetan Mastiff 
Thought to date back 3,000 years, the Tibetan Mastiff is one of the world's oldest breeds that was used as a guard dog in his native country, protecting properties as well as entire villages and livestock. This breed is so old that it's said that Caesar described Mastiffs in his account of invading Britain in 55 BC, but they still haven't lost their charm. Originally bred to be guardians, hunters, and war dogs for the Tibetan nomads, they are thickly muscled and weigh more than most full-grown men. But aside from their incredible strength, this breed is patient, lovable, and kind, and they respond well to gentle, positive training. Just beware that when you decide to add one of these dogs to your family, you're making a commitment to training the dog that should be taken seriously. This dog species is athletic and agile, with dignified composure. They are known to chase away predators and sometimes even result in using force if need be. The Tibetan Mastiff is most certainly not a breed to take on lightly. They are very wary of strangers and naturally protective of their family and property. Experienced handling, socialization, and training are very essential as with all guarding breeds. In the right home, they can be calm, affectionate, and loyal companions. Number 1. St. Bernard the St. Bernard is a Swiss dog trained to rescue and save travelers lost in avalanches by digging out massive amounts of snow and guiding or, in some cases, dragging them to safety. That perfectly sums up this unique and powerful dog. Though not necessarily light on their feet, this breed is all about brute strength and has been seen in a good number of reports that St. Bernards are responsible for saving thousands of lives. They might seem to be tough as nails in the harshest conditions, but these dogs are also affectionate and adore cuddle time with family. With their large body size of an average height of 32 to 37 inches and an approximate weight of 54 to 82 kilograms, they could pass off as the ideal guard dog. Although, St. Bernards have the potential to become aggressive and somewhat bossy when inadequately trained at a young age. They tend to be very protective, especially of their owners or those they consider family. However, it's crucial that you pay close attention to your St. Bernard's protective behavior as this dog can quickly become overprotective of you, which spells danger for anyone that's not you. That's it for 20 dogs that are nightmares to wild animals. As seen in this video, some dogs can be a companion and also protect you from dangers, most especially wild animals. Your opinions about these dogs are also welcomed in the comment section. Also check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time.